Hey guys, I am back with another Happy Meal Toy Review. Now, yes, I know it's been almost two months. I think it was two months. I want to say it was like around like July 11th, I reviewed one of those Inside Out 2 Happy Meal Toys. Which, yes, we are reviewing toy number one and toy number three. Toy number three, I mean, sorry, I, I've been up since one o'clock this morning, and I am pretty tired. So yeah, um, I had these in the bag for like two weeks now. Yes, um, we got toy number one, Hello Kitty Crossover Dark Magician, and toy number three, which this one I really wanted the most, is... My Melody Crossover Dark Magician Girl. Um, yes, this is for an early October's unwrapping, which will be part of October's unboxing compilation some point by next month. Yes, I know it's the 1st of September. I reviewed a plushie two days ago, which was the movie Shadow Plush from Sonic 3. So yeah, um... I'm excited to review these. I know y'all have been waiting all week, last week, for this. So, let's go and head and unwrap them. And three, two, one. Got toy number one out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! crossover Hello Kitty and Friends. Toy one out of its bag. So, let's get toy three out of its bag in three, two, one. Okay, guys. Here is toy number one. Hello Kitty crossover dark magician and now yes these little plushies are just like the um captain america brave new world happy meal toys i review back in may after it was released over there at mcdonald's and what's really cool um this little tag right here that has the um Yu-Gi-Oh crossover hello kitty and friends logo it's actually a QR code, which is really cool. So yeah, that's it for Hello Kitty du Crossover Dark Magician. Now let's look at toy number three. And three, two, one. Okay, now here's the one I really wanted the most. My Melody Crossover Dark Magician Girl. And yes, here's the tag I was telling you guys about. I don't even know how this happened. It just ripped after I got the toy out of the bag. So, yeah, there's the QR code tag, and here's the plushie itself. Now, yes, this is just the characters from the Hello Kitty franchise cosplaying characters from Yu-Gi-Oh! Like... Um, Dark Magician Girl, Time Wizard, and, uh, Dark Magician. And this one is going to be my favorite. So let's go ahead and give it a review in 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, guys. This unwrapping plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. Now, yes, I know I've been excited to review these since, like, last week, but I... Said I was going to review them today on Sunday, which was Monday of last week. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Another October unboxing. So yeah, this is what I was telling you guys about. It's by Moose. It's called the Heroes of Gujetsu Stretchy Superstars. Uh, John Cena. Now, yes, Rey Mysterio is also available. I got John Cena because why not? Because, well, he's retiring next year, and I will be pretty sad about it. So, yeah, uh, they did not have the Walmart exclusive two-pack. And, yes, this is filled up with gooey gel filling, which is a blue filling, like gel filling. So, yeah, I'm glad I got it, it in my hands, review it, and this is my first he Heroes of Gujetsu uh, thing to unbox. 
let's go ahead and get it out of the box in three, two, one. Okay, guys, here he is out of the box. It's, it was real easy to get out. I was surprised. Now, yes, this is what it looks like. It feels like Stretch Armstrong, but this is what it does. See? Mr. Fantastic style. And the head slightly rotates, but I don't want to mess with that because I do not want to break it. It was like $13 at Walmart. And yes, I even showed this to my friend, uh, Finny, uh, underscore 3000, you know, uh, from TikTok, who's really known with these, like the hulky related stuff. And yeah, um, I don't get why they made one wristband orange because it's supposed to be blue, but they just decided to make it orange. And yes, I picked it up at Walmart not that long ago. And yeah, um, really glad I got this in my collection. This unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, I am back with another Happy Meal. I mean, technically not Happy Meal because they're not toys. Let's say review for October's unboxing. Now, yes, McDonald's is doing a collab. They started this out since the 17th, which, yes, is a collab a collaboration with Genshin Impact. Never played the game, but yes. Um, only got these because they looked really cool. And I have a friend who plays Genshin Impact. I don't know if she still does or not. But yeah, what's really cool about these boxes, they have different pictures on them. Like this one right here. With a woman on it. Kind of reminds me of Lucina a little bit from Fire Emblem. Now, the guy, don't know their names, ex except for one, and that is Xiao. Not Yang from Ruby. Like, there's a character named Xiao that's a man. Now, yes, I know my camera is a little rotated. And because I've been moving it since uh, my last review for October's unboxing. Now, yes, um, if y'all can tell, there's a QR code. It's just like the other one I reviewed, like those last Happy Meal toys. Uh, they have QR codes on them. And yes, you can only use it for the... Um, app only and yes here's the full picture of the woman i mentioned uh yeah like i said kind of reminds me of i mean of uh lucina for fire emblem so yeah this review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred anyway like comment subscribe okay guys so, I had to restart the video that y'all are watching right now because I already took the tag off right before I filmed, uh, which, to be honest, I know I, I don't normally do that before I film these unboxings, I mean, these reviews. So, yeah, um, I got this Ghost Space knife, or on the tag, it says Bloody Blade by Fun World. So, let's... So here's the tag. Um, so you have to be 15 plus to own this. Don't know why, but it is. So it's only four dollars at Walmart plus 46 cents. So here's the instructions. Take care when using blood can be per minute permanently stain some fibrics and service never use blood in carpeted areas blood ingredients it's made out of water 
and it's only colored red. Red. So, see, it's just water when I shake it. It's not really real blood. And yeah, um, it says the same thing in Spanish. I do not know why, but it is the icon of Halloween. Now, yes, I bought this from Walmart yesterday. Um, but I will try to get the costume next week. If I do, I will review it and probably do a rare test, like a cosplay test, because it's a Halloween costume, which I'll be right back. Now, here's the knife. Now, my mom told me this is called a dagger. I told her daggers and knives are the same thing, which I don't even think a dagger is a knife. I don't know. Can y'all let me know down comments below if it is a knife or not? Because I, this is the first time I own a little... Halloween accessory. Well, second, because y'all may remember, I have a Sora Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts I reviewed two years ago. That's from Spirit Halloween. This one is made by Fun World, not um, Spirit Halloween. Don't know why. But hey, this is only four bucks, four dollars at Walmart and 46 cents. So. I don't want to shake it too much because I don't want the water to be expired and liquefied. So yeah, let's give this a review and the tag. Let's review the tag first, then the knife. Here's the tag. Now, yes, this is just a Halloween uh, prop, like a Halloween accessory. Is that real a real knife? And no, it's not real blood either. So don't freak out in the comments. Because it's just a little toy that does not come with a costume. Because the costume is only $25 at my Walmart. So yeah, the tag is not from Kid Robot. It is from Fun World. Um, now let's review the knife. Okay, so here's the knife. Now, the knife is really tall. It's like, I don't know, it's not 12 inches or 6 inches. I don't know how tall it is. But this review is going to get 100 out of 100. And yes, this is for October's unboxing. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe.